So this is going to be kind of lumped together uh, video. So we're putting two packs of dolls together along with the two Ghouls Alive dolls I have. Why? Because these don't necessarily have a category. Like I don't have enough of the Ghouls Alive dolls and I have a lot of two pack dolls. You guys have seen quite a few other two pack dolls I have but again I'm not going to repeat do repeats in videos so it's like just lump them all together. Okay, so, unfortunately the batteries have ran out on both of my Ghouls Alive dolls, so the demo will not be that exciting for you guys. So, the first one I ever got was actually out of trade. This is back when the first um, Ghouls Alive dolls came out and people were scrambling the stores in time for Christmas to get them. So, they, on eBay they were about $100, so I was like, no, I, I don't have $100. I actually found a Christmas limited edition porcelain Tinkerbell that it wasn't that cute, but uh, this lady wanted it for Christmas for her daughter or something, so she literally found me a Ghouls Alive Spectra to trade for. I thought that was insanely amazing, and it made my Christmas that year. So, she basically looks like the Wave 2 Schools Out Spectra doll, except for solid black ball and chain earrings she's got the same silver chain necklace and bracelet top belt and her skirt slightly different because there's chrome chains but her shoes pretty much look the same her stand these are the crotch stands and that kind of suck but yeah her 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 batteries have run out all you gotta do is get like the watch batteries the fat ones it'll work fine uh will got me the deuce uh, Gorgon when back when we first started dating he does not that's that's about as much as you're gonna hear from him his eyes kind of sort of glow still but not very much so his glasses are attached and then he's got a chrome earring in his ear he's got his vest and his tank top his belt his shoes and his pants and his shoes is what I meant to say. He does not have, this is not his stand, this is a mixture stand because I don't know where his stand went. But yeah, his, it, it really is a shame that he doesn't work anymore, but like, again, all I gotta do is replace the batteries. So let's get into, <laughs> Spectre wants the last say and stuff, doesn't she? So let's get into two pack dolls so from big bad toy store uh around the time of my birthday when i got the four 13 wishes dolls i also had saved up enough money to pre-order the um mad science looking ones uh the two packs so i had got the cleo and the Gulia two pack and then i had also got the heath and Abby Fire and Ice 2 pack. Let's, let's go ahead and start with the Gulia and the Cleo first. So, I don't know why, it always wants to fuzz out. Okay, so, Gulia has this headband with a brain on it, glasses. Uh, she has these GHFF earrings. Like ghoul friends forever, I guess. She has this little bow on her dress with like the periodic table is supposed to be on it. Uh, little brain accents on her little jacket. They also come with like beakers and stuff, but those are actually put away. And then she's got brains on the back of her high heeled sneakers. The one thing that gets on my nerves about the Spectra is because her hands are flared out, it catches everybody else's hair and stuff, and it gets annoying. And then here's the Cleo. She's got a little gog like goggles with a little cobra on it. I thought that was really cool. She also has the Ghoul Friends Forever earrings. The snake necklace is actually a repeat of what is it? Um Ghoul's Rule, the movie doll. Her jacket actually has accents and mummy wrappings on it. Her dress is pretty cute. Her wrappings match. Her shoes are, are tiny and very cute. 
and then we have the fire and ice two pack so here's the abbey at one point I actually had two of these abbeys because I thrifted one so I still have this dress somewhere and I have the extra earrings so she has a an icicle on one side and a spoon Oh, it's like a salt, it's a frozen salt shaker. I never knew what the heck it was. I knew it was supposed to be something, but it's a frozen salt shaker. And then it's a frozen spoon on the other side. And then her dress and her little apron. She has a little spoon in her hand. She's a cup of some, or a measuring cup of some like slime. She's got a little tiny bracelet on. And then she's got these boots. And then we've got Heath Burns. This was the second. There's two Heath Burns out, but this was the first Heath that ever came out. There you go. You get a nice look at his handsome face. He is the cousin to Holt Hyde, a.k.a. Jackson Jackal as well. His jacket's pretty cool. And then he's got flames on his shirt. He's got an apron basic blue jeans, flamey shoes. I had to re-put on his, uh, his whisk and his oven mitt because I was like, oh, I know where that is. That's in my accessory bag, but I'm not going to pull it out for everything. Okay. Next dolls we have are the zombie shake dolls, which I'm actually contemplating selling on eBay. Um, there are a few dolls I'm going to be selling on eBay after all of this because I, they don't spark joy in my life. They don't you know, I just, I just don't like their color schemes and stuff. So I'll be listing the zombie shake dolls. The Persephone and Meality. It's been so long that I actually do not remember which is which. I want to say this is Persephone and this is Meality, but no guarantee. Pretty much their clothes are identical. They got their headpieces. They've got different colors of their earrings. They've got the same necklace different colors of the same vest, same dress, different color, bracelets, you know, purses. I'm just not a fan of these. I kind of wish I would have just got the, uh, the Venus and Rochelle two-pack, but, you know, um, I think I had a gift card for Toys R Us or something. So, like, I'm just, I'm just not a fan of that set. I'll be getting rid of that one. And then I have a, kind of a prom set. Zagulia and Slow Mo 2 pack. These will not be sold. I actually really, really like these. And these surprisingly don't do as good as they should. This was a set that I was like, why aren't they sold out? But this was way later. Um, so she's got this cool little brain bouquet headpiece. And her, her very 60s bun hairstyle is really cute. Her glasses, I love how they're tinted blue with the red frames. They're on a little high because they were like lost at one point and I wanted to make sure they're secure. So she's got these hand, zombie hand earrings. I don't know why my camera keeps doing this. Uh, she's got this skull cherry, supposed to be resemble like a pearl necklace. Um, ah, come on, focus. necklace and then her dress is super cute. This looks like something you would find in Hot Topic and totally get from like the American Horror Story line of clothes. And then we got these really sweet blood drippy shoes. Now let me show you the slow-mo Mortovich. He's got a flat top. It's a little it's a little swoopy. And he's got this nice blocking. Let me see if I can there's his face. I like his shirt. Now, the only thing about this one is the slow most pants are very cheaply made. And that kind of sucks. I never saw anybody do any reviews on these, by the way. Uh, I like his shirt. It's pretty basic on the back. Uh, the brain bouquet is also really cool. I love that idea. Again, his pants are that cheap material that you see in the Dollar Tree for Barbie clothes, like fake Barbie clothes. And he's got these nice dress shoes. This is the... D and D style two pack. This was a uh, that those were also these were a Toys R Us exclusive. These are also a Toys R Us exclusive. So I've got the Gil and Deuce two pack. Gil's just got his his helmet. Let's get the face. 
and that shirt. Uh, their game pieces and stuff on the board are still intact, uh, put away right now. But there is one of his cards, and he's got flip-flops on. He's pretty cool. They're pretty simple. They're just dudes hanging out, pretty much. You got Deuce. I don't know where his gla like glasses went. I don't know if he had basic glasses, like green glasses or what, but I know he had glasses. I just don't know where they went. They could have looked like the Scarus glasses, because I know I have a dime a dozen of those. He's got a black piercing this time. I love this shirt. His tattoo looks slightly darker. His pants are okay, and then I like his shoes. And then there's his uh, his card. I'm uh, I'm keeping these, but if I if I could find them on eBay, I probably would just get rid of them because like. I've got enough, but I think that's my last gill, so that's another reason to keep it. Okay, so these two I will definitely be selling because they're made very cheaply for me, and the Rochelle always had a smushed looking face for me. I have the Toys R Us exclusive, actually very rare, kind of expensive on eBay, uh, Garrett and Rochelle 2 pack. So here is the Garrett. See, I like his face, and I like the idea of what he's wearing. But he's super cheap. Like, I feel like the exclusive started getting cheaply made down the line. Like, he has got the coolest hair color. His wings are uh, one piece compared to Rochelle's two pieces. His shirt and, like, his jacket and his shirt is one piece. And then he's got this, this, um, scarf. And it's still tacked down because I never really did anything with it. I just kind of had to put them in a tote as soon as I deboxed them. He's got basic jeans and basic shoes, and he comes with a, a black rose that attaches to his hand. He's pretty, he's pretty basic. Like, it, it kind of makes me sad how basic it is. And this Rochelle, her, um, her face looks just so smushed. It, it looked like that when it came out of the box, and I was like, why does she look so sad and so smushed? And this is like a, a date like two pack she's got this huge black rose headpiece with like green viney drippy looking stuff she's got her mind you these were deboxed and just put into storage because um you know we we'll lived together at the time and i had no shelf space to put anything so this was barely had any shelf space um and shelf time this was only on the shelf the past six months actually uh compared to being in storage for like the past three four years so she's got her wings, she's got her dress. It's a really cute dress. Um, this purse is cute. Her shoes are like her first pair of shoes, her introduction doll. But they're green and this is not her stand. They actually did not come with stands. I was kind of, I was disappointed like badly in that. They did not come with stands at all. A lot of the Toys R Us exclusive ones did not. And I don't know why. So yeah, that's, that's the Garrett and Rochelle 2 pack. That will be listed on eBay in a couple days. Actually, um, when I wrap up this video um, video series, I will be listing a handful of dolls that I just don't spark joy in my life anymore. There's a lot I'm keeping. A lot. When and I say I'm selling some, I mean like eight dolls because they're like just not my favorites anymore. So I will be doing the random dolls video next because like I don't know what category to put them in I think I've got about six videos left till I am wrapped up with this whole series which is amazing and I have really enjoy enjoyed you guys like watching with me and taking this trip down monster high memory lane for me it's a little bit unconventional compared to the people who reviewed the dolls it's a little different and like the only reason why I don't talk about the creators and stuff like that and like you know, the kind of like the ghost of the doll thing is because these are dolls are not that old that you can just do your own research on that. Um, more than anything, it it's that nostalgia of me remembering when I got that doll and the people I got them from, which is like the thing I hold dear to me still like to this day. So I hope you guys have really enjoyed this because this has been wonderful for me. I will see you guys very shortly. Bye.